it's feeling too right Spilling all my thoughts on the flow one time One time It's always gonna be fresh It's gonna be sparkling It's gonna have like a nice minerality to it Like it's if you enjoy seafood, that's the perfect glass of bubbles for you. It's gonna make sure like you're gonna wanna keep eating all your food, especially if it's like a little bit fatty, it's like cream and cheese as well. So this one is called Chateau La Bergie. It's coming out of France. Is grapes? Okay, all right. What else? Do we like smell alcohol or anything like that? fruit forward and will pair with like any easy dish that you have. So this Merlot tonight, like I said, all the grapes are crushing each other. They're juicier style. They weren't aged in oak for too long. So what the Frenchmen do, they'll take all their grape juice and like, if I sit on this in the cellar, it's gonna make me some more money like when you go in and buy your new. <laughs> that means I struggle with a lot and you know moving to 2021 you know we were forgiving our parents forgiving our young friends and understand the role we have in their life and they want to be with us um, but we gotta let go of the walls um, um, and, and heal from those traumas that they put you through all right so got 30 40 more years left for life so forgive yourself one of the things toughest truths that I learned about myself this year is it's okay to step back Ooh. Um, we always feel, especially I'm speaking for myself, but also for black women, it's very important for us to be, like Saito said, independent and making sure that we have what we want at our own hands. But sometimes you just need to step back. And sometimes you need to um, assess where you are to get to where you're going. Yeah. The truth that I learned about myself this year is that it's just as important to be vulnerable as it is to ask others to be vulnerable. One of my hardest truths this year that I learned about myself is that I do have a hard time letting go, and I think it's because I left Chicago to go hey. to college. <laughs> and so everybody that I met in college became family, and like after that, so like now that I live in Atlanta and I don't really have too many friends there, more so relationship-wise, I tolerate and deal with a lot of things because my family's not there. Um, so just knowing, like, I gotta, I learned that even though some things are unhealthy for you, it's okay to be alone and just to let it go, and you'll be just a okay. People don't people don't show up for you the same way that you show up for them. And I learned that it's my fault. I don't set boundaries. That was a big, big, big one for me. So I'm working on it. Um, but you have to set boundaries because you allow the things that happen to you. You have to teach people how to treat you. That was a big one for me. You gotta forgive your parents. I'm gonna let that stick there. Forgive your parents, they tried their best. They had their own traumas to deal with, and then whatever the circumstance was, they made the best. So, forgive your parents. 
realize, I had to realize this year that, that many of the hardships that I complained about, many of the things that I was saying, oh, you're responsible, this is responsible, you don't know what kind of childhood I have, but I'm black, but I'm a single mother, but I'm, I don't have enough, but everything that I had said was only a manifestation of what I believed about myself and nationality. I was more than that, and I am more than that I've learned this year is that I do have friends that reciprocate what I give. Yes, Because when I met Saika and Samantha, they literally have brought to my life everything that I've ever given in every single friendship for all my 31 years. They have given that to me, and I am so grateful. And I'm going to keep on manifesting more people yes, just like them. Because I deserve it.